Welcome to the State of Wyoming Subject Matter Minute, where we cover a wide variety of subjects related to State of Wyoming employment. This information is for you and me, the state employee. From hidden benefits to systems and processes, we'll make your job easier by giving you the lowdown, the how-to, and hopefully entertain you a bit along the way. And now, today's Subject Matter Minute. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Subject Matter Minute. I'm Matt Nagy. Thanks for joining me. So, there's been a new development in the Nagy household recently. I know you guys were missing out on the updates, so I'm going to give you one today. So, due to the physically debilitating nature of dental hygiene, which is what my wife does, uh, she decided that she needed to reduce her hours. Unfortunately, her dentist of 10 years decided that that didn't work for him, so she started looking around. We found out that there was quite a few jobs in Colorado, right? And like most sane people, we love Steamboat, and she was able to snag a great job in Steamboat. Okay? So yeah, she's commuting to Steamboat now. <laughs> kind of crazy, I know. But she leaves Tuesday morning, nice and early, comes back Thursday night, and stays two nights to work those three days. Okay. Now, the only reason we can pull this off is because we have lifelong friends who have a second home in Steamboat, and for a nominal fee, they let her stay there those two nights. She loves it, so what can you do? It is our new reality. All right, enough with the Nagy update. For this episode, I want to thank HRD's very own Jared Hansen for helping me out with the information. As always, thanks, Jared. Today, we're going to talk about a new suite of software by a company called NeoGov. So what is NeoGov? Well, obviously, we've all applied to work at the state, but if you did it in the last 10 years or so, the website or the software that you used was NeoGov. Okay? NeoGov is the current software that we use for job, to create job postings, advertise jobs, and collect applications. Okay, the system is managed by Department of Administration and Information, HRD, but obviously is used by a lot more. Up until this point, this is all NeoGov has been used for. Okay? Well, after a tedious and long RFP process, the state's use of NeoGov is going to expand. Now, some of you may recall a few years ago hearing something about the Government Efficiency Commission. Okay, this commission was tasked with identifying opportunities at our state government to increase efficiencies and to reduce costs. As a result, uh, many recommendations were made, including uh, consolidating HR systems. Now, we talked about consolidating HR, but this is consolidating systems that HR uses. All of us are familiar with the PMI system called Saba Talent Space. This is a system we are using or have been using to complete performance evaluations. This video is not about that process. Okay, I know we all have differing opinions or feelings, mixed feelings about that. Instead, this video is going to prepare you for some upcoming changes in PMI and other areas as a result of HRD's efforts to consolidate the systems. So what does all of this mean for you and I? Now, you may have seen something from your HR team during the planning phase about Saba Talent Space going away. Well, this is indeed true. Okay. As I mentioned, HRD and I completed multiple RFPs over the past year, and NeoGov was selected as the vendor not only to do what they have been doing, which is recruitment, but to also conduct performance evaluations with. As we speak, the PMI Continuous Improvement Steering Committee group is meeting to discuss if there's any changes that need to be made with PMI and how it'll all be incorporated into the NeoGov system. Okay, so in the meantime, PMI is on hiatus. I'm guessing some of you look a little bit happy right now. <laughs> look for more information to come as the committee makes more decisions. Now, I'm sure this means more training to come. One of the hats that I wear besides making this amazing show is training. And sadly for many of you, I enjoy creating training, as many of your supervisors probably remember from the previous PMI training for managers. The part that I'm most excited about, and perhaps everyone else is the least excited about, is that, well, because it resides in the background, 
is that NeoGov will be providing the state with a new learning management system, or LMS. Okay, this is where trainers put training. It allows trainers to build courses and conduct statewide or agency-specific training. Now, this won't change how you access all training. Uh, ETS still has its own platform, um, and many agencies have you know, agency-specific training on different platforms. So it won't be a one-stop shop, at least initially. Uh, we do hope to eliminate some training platforms over time. Now, HRD is building a training unit that's part of HR centralization. Uh, so there will be more workforce development and HR compliance training available in the future. And this will reside on the LMS in NeoGov. The changes that include NeoGov don't stop there. Okay? Other modules that are in the plan include onboarding and e-forms. I'm sure everybody had a different experience, either positive or negative, with onboarding. This is something that HRD hopes to improve with HR centralization. Okay? NeoGov should make the process more efficient and hopefully make the experience a more positive one for all incoming employees. eForms is document and workflow management software. It's HRD's hope that manual forms can now be converted to electronic forms, in my opinion, long overdue. All right. All right, unfortunately, I don't have a sneak peek for you at this time. That'll probably be a future subject matter minute or multiple subject matter minutes. But if you are interested in learning more right now, you can feel free to go to neogov.com. Okay, I put some links below. They have a full list of their products and some good reading material about the modules mentioned in this video. Again, this process has just started as timelines and other expectations are established, they will be shared with you and I. Okay? In the meantime, if you have any feedback about HR systems or processes that have been used in the past, please let someone on your HR team know now. Okay? We will be using, likely using NeoGov for many years to come, right? and we're hopeful that the system will work for everyone, not just HR, supervisors, employees, everyone. All right, I got to go. I promised my wife that I would telework from Steamboat this week. And so I got to go get my pile ready because we leave at like 530 in the morning. Oh, one more thing. There are two great state employees getting hitched this weekend. I want to say congratulations to Seth and Laura. I am looking forward to partying and sweating with you in the 98 degree temperatures of Thermopolis this weekend. All right. Bye, everyone. You have been watching the Subject Matter Minute with Matt Nagy. Please help us out by subscribing. And join us next month when we'll cover another topic of interest for all State of Wyoming employees. Again, thank you for joining us on the Subject Matter Minute.